spin the wheel and see who we are playing as. For the second episode of the series, we got the San Diego Padres. This ought to be fun. So in our first video of the series, uh, I asked you all what you guys should think about our opponents for uh, you know the future episodes of the series, and I had a recent subscriber comment, uh, Marvin Bird, I believe was his name, I'll go ahead and put the comment up on the screen now, that he thinks that we should play uh, the team's biggest rivals. So we have the Padres, we're going to be playing the Dodgers, I think it warrants a Dodgers-Padres uh, game. So give me a second, and I will go ahead and set both of those rosters uh, up to Roto Champs projected lineups, and I'll have you know I'll play that and show you guys uh, that I got everything lined up. So just give me a second. So we're over here in MLB The Show 20, guys. This is the lineup that we're rolling with. If you guys don't believe me, check the description down below. I got both the links to the Roto Champ projected lineups as well as the Padres depth chart. So check out those links below. This is the lineup that we're rolling with. It comes directly from Roto Champ from that link. It's the first link in the description below. Click on it. This is what you'll see. All right, leading us off, we got Trent Grisham out in center field. In the two-hole spot, we got cover boy, shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. In the three-hole, Manny Machado. Batting cleanup, Eric Hosmer. Now, this is where they have Eric Hosmer in the lineup on Roto Champ. I personally would probably put Tommy Pham in the cleanup spot and probably move Hosmer down to the five hole or maybe even the six hole. I might have Pham and then Myers and then Hosmer, but hey, you know, it's what Roto Champ has, so we're just going to roll with it for this video. In the five spot, we got Tommy Pham. Six spot, Will Myers out in right field. Seven hole, second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. I have never batted with this guy. I hope it goes well in today's video. In the eight spot, we got catcher Austin Nola. And then rounding out the lineup, we're going to have our pitcher batting, which is you Darvish sitting there right now. But I can't decide if we're going to go with you Darvish or Blake Snell for this video, guys, because we are going to be going up against a formidable opponent indeed in the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be going up against the Dodgers here, guys. So, uh... Let's jump over to the pitching rotation for the Padres. We've got Yu Darvish, Blake Snell, Denelson Lamette, Joe Musgrove, and Chris Paddock in the starting rotation. And then over in the bullpen, we do have Mike Clevenger sitting here. We're not going to be using him in this video. Uh, Clevenger won't be pitching uh, in the 2021 season because he's coming back off Tommy John surgery. So just ignore him. He's sitting there, but just ignore him right now. Uh, and the rest of the bullpen we have, again, like I said, we, we're not going to be using Clevenger, so just ignore him. We've got Melanson, Tim Hill, Craig Stammen, Emilio Pagan, Drew Pomerantz, Keone, Kella, Keone. Tell me down below in the comment section if I'm butchering his name. I probably am. And Trevor Rosenthal. This is a very... This, guys, this is probably the strongest, besides the Dodgers, that we're going to be facing, unfortunately, in this video. Uh, the Dodgers and the Padres, they, they're top five pitching staffs. They are. Uh, they're neck and neck. They, uh, you know, when, when the Padres do get this guy back right here in 2022, um, it, it's, it's going to be neck and neck in the NL West between those two teams. So I'm extremely psyched for this video. Let's go. Uh, let's go set our lineups and uh, our starting pitchers, and uh, let's 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 get into the gameplay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with you, Darvish, in this video, guys. I want to throw with you, Darvish. We're gonna go with the ace. I don't know if I mentioned this in another video or not, guys, but I'm I'm personally a Royals and Diamondbacks fan. I've followed the Royals. I'm from Kansas City, and for whatever reason, I just love the Phoenix area. I love Arizona. Uh, I love the Phoenix area, and so I follow the Diamondbacks very closely. So I have faced this Dodgers lineup several times in this game before, but that is not to say that this is going to go well because this lineup is extremely deep, and there are no easy outs in this lineup whatsoever. So here we go. Hopefully this goes well. 
All right, guys, we're back to the gameplay. I don't know what's going on. My capture software just completely uh, went down on me. Just froze up on me and uh, decided to shut down. Decided to not pick up my capture card anymore. So I don't know what, what that was all about, but we're back. No relief over there on deck. Absolutely no relief. I thought that was for sure going to be a, a walk. I don't. I don't think we're going to be racking up a whole lot of strikeouts against this this lineup. So we'll we'll definitely take that. Don't, don't hang this, Darvish. Do not hang this slider. There we go. There we go. Just saying. Do not hang the slider. Don't hang it to him. Oh. Oh, no. We almost had a home run there. Oh, I thought it was going to come back down. Oh, it might fall. It might fall. Oh. Man. I was giving my hopes up on, on Mookie Betts. I should have figured he was going to catch up to that fly ball. Well, at least we made contact. This this is going to be a pitching duel. I'm already saying it. Screw it, man. I'm going to throw him a fastball. I got to get it over. Now we'll, go, we'll go up. And it was rocketed. Jeez. 111 exit velo on that. That, that perfect, perfect. That thing was rocketed. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that was close. I was really tempted to swing at that. There it is. There it is. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Tatis, baby. That's the cover athlete. That's our cover athlete, baby. You know we're going yard with Tatis. Hell yeah. Hell yes. What's up, Bauer? What's up? You want some? What's up? What's up? What's up, Bauer? Bauer hates the... He must just hate the inside corner or something, or the inside edge. And by the way, Tatis deserves better than Silver on defense, a Silver badge. He deserves a gold, or at least a gold, if not a diamond, on defense. Towards balls in the zone? Or pitches in the zone? That's probably going to be caught. That's too lazy. Yeah, it's... It's too much of a lazy fly ball for that outfield. I mean, you got Monkey Betts and Bellinger. You're going to need a line drive to get past those guys. Oh, get it. Get it. Yeah. Get that gold glove out, Tommy Fam. Get that gold glove out. Get that gold glove out. You guys aren't going to give me a replay. They ain't going to give me a replay on that. Like, look at this. He's just like, all right, give me that. And uh, I'm just going to, like, like look, at, look at Tatis. He's like, dude, throw the ball in. He's like, dude, like, get it in. I got to double this guy off at first. And I like how Tommy Pham is just like, yeah, I'm just going to take it slow, bro. I'm just going to, I got the ball. I'm just taking it slow. Here you go. Here it is. Calm down. <laughs> he didn't even throw it to him. We threw it to second base. He just rocketed it right over his head. And look at Tatis. He's just like, right here, throw it here. He's like, really? Bad. 
That went a lot better than I than planned, than I thought it was going to. We're just going to keep on going. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything right now. I'm not. We're just going to keep playing. And the circle change. God, I knew the circle change was coming, too. I knew it. Feel the ball, Cronenworth. What was that? Why was I on Tatis there? Cronenworth, what are you doing? He literally watches this ball pass him. Look. Look at Cronenworth's eyes. He's like, oh. He's like, oh, there's the ball. Oh, I guess it passed me. That's all good. And I was I was latched on to Tatis, look. He's like, oh no. Sony San Diego, you got you gotta get that fixed, dude. I should have been latched on to Cronenworth to, to start that play. Give me at least a chance at that. I'm not saying I'm gonna get to that ball, but give me give me a chance. I should be latched on to him so I can dive with him. And at least, you know, have a chance at that ball situation there. Now look now that look at him. They're hitting me like crazy. I can't get anybody out now. Wonderful. Where do I go from here? He's looking up, dude. He is looking up in the zone. I cannot come up in the zone here. I have to go back to the 12-6. Oh, beautiful. This, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. And I walked in a run. I walked in a run. I'm gonna beat myself. Oh my gosh. He just totally saved the day with that play. Great. Throw him out. Uh, he's, he's there. Shit. I mean, he pitched a damn good game. Freaking batting is just awful. Just keep that on the outside corner. Give me that. It's got to be in the zone, Pomeranz. It's got to be in the zone, buddy. We got to get that into the zone. And there it is. There it is. Tie game. It's always freaking Seeger, and he's going to be out, but... It's tie game. Be that guy. What do I need to do? Tell me. What do I need to do? Uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't leaving. It was a nice stroke, but it wasn't leaving. Not in San Diego. get there. Thank you, Myers. Every time I see his bronze badge, I'm like, catch, catch the ball, please. Uh, you guys probably like the microphone over here, I would imagine. Oh, no. Well, there's the game, guys. I knew it was spelling for disaster. I knew it was. I called it. I mean, what what else do you guys want? I called it. That's what I want to do right now. I'm not going to, but yeah. Gave him his fastball. He wanted probably going crazy. And and look, that's just a lazy fly ball. I'm all over that, and it's just a lazy fly ball. Two wonderfully hit balls. And what do I have to show for it? Not a damn thing. God. That sounded like a perfect perfect, too. Just three great swings. 
three great swings on the ball. And nothing show to show for it. Is there a hole in my bat? Is there a hole in my bat, Sony San Diego? You have to fix this. You must fix this problem. I'm probably popping out on that, let's be honest. I hate to see this continually happen. I mean, I'd love to see that ball be put in play, wouldn't we? Wouldn't you? Can't make this up, man. Can't make it up. Yeah, uh, it's out number two. So as as I go into my last out here of the game, I just want to say that uh, the Padres. I have the Padres. Um, I have the Padres finishing second in the NL West this year. Um, I think that they're going to win over ninety games. I do. Um, I I don't think that they win a hundred. Um, I think that the Dodgers went over 100 games this year. I do. I think that they're they're best fit to, um, you know, really defend that that World Series championship. Um, I think that the Dodgers went over 100 games. I think that the the Padres probably fit in the range of anywhere between 90 and 99 wins. I want to say, um, and. Uh, I don't know if they're 90 to 95 or 95 to 99 wins. That's hard to gauge or 90 to 94 wins, 95 to 99. I don't, that's hard to, hard to say it. I want to say, I want to say over 95 wins, but I, I just don't know. You know, it's, they have a lot of new names there and it's going to depend on chemistry, but I do have them finishing second behind the Dodgers and I do have them. Do have them getting into the playoffs. Uh, I do, despite what you just witnessed and me playing a horrible, horrible game with this amazing lineup. I do think that this lineup and this pitching staff is is absolutely capable of anywhere in the range of at least ninety two, ninety three wins, all the way up to probably ninety six or ninety seven. I want to say so. Uh, I'm sorry, Padres fans. I'm sorry. I suck. I just suck. I really wanted to win this for you guys. I did. Got ahead of myself with that two-run home run with Tatis in the bottom of the third inning, and freaking Bellinger, dude. He, he Bellinger killed us in this game. I guess if I have to give a, a final digit to the Padres' record, which I, I always put uh, the record that I think, you know, my final record projection, I'll always put that down in the comments below. Yeah, I'm going to say 96 and 86 for the Padres. I'm going to say they finished second in the NL West this year behind the Dodgers. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed the gameplay, go ahead, leave a like on this video. Comment down below with what you guys think the Padres uh, are going to do this year. Do you guys think that they're good enough to, uh, to surpass the Dodgers? Or do you think, just like I do, that they're going to finish second behind the Dodgers and, and sneak into the playoffs either as a wild card well, they, yeah, if they're behind the Dodgers, they're going to have to sneak in as a wild card team. So, yeah, I think they, I think that they host a wild card game in 2021 with a, with a record of 96 and 86. Subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate that. And turn post notifications on so you guys don't miss your favorite teams, MLB, the show 21 roster preview. And until the next one, hopefully I can finally win a game on my own two to start. And I'm not changing the difficulty anytime soon, so hopefully in the next one, we can catch a dub. Until then, it's Tabor Time Out. Peace.